be one. I don't know what these is. We're going to stand right here behind you. See if don't lift them out of the water. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see Is this there? Uh, Yes, I think really good. something a keeper. <laughs> really this is not a bank sea bass. So hopefully something. <laughs> World record bank sea bass. Yeah it is. Red, uh, red snapper maybe. Oh it looks like red snapper again. Oh red snapper. Yeah. Another red snapper. Oh wow. A lot of red snapper. Another beautiful red snapper. Let's go. Camp grouper. And uh, look at the dolphin playing. Looking for our fish. I'm gonna eat this thing if I release it.
kitchen I'll be uh, preparing tuna poke and also marinated tuna steak seared with a uh, sesame on it this is my first tuna and this is a bonus yesterday I had a blast we caught a lot of fish I caught AJ Lame snapper, a lot of red snapper, unfortunately is out of season. Skunk grouper and uh, hooking into a big AHA and broke the line multiple times. On the way home, we uh, spotted some birds uh, diving and to our surprise, uh, we saw the head and the tail of tuna coming out of the water. So uh, I throw in this uh, Gacha lure. Let me uh, show you. This is uh, an artificial lure. It's a metal, one ounce. The first cast hooked into the tuna and the pipe was on. So, fortunately, I was able to land the tuna. So, with the poke, cut it into cubes with a mixture of sesame oil, gluten-free soy sauce, seasoned vinegar. Of course, we're gonna be using a uh, sesame seed. So the mixture, we're gonna pour it to the tuna. This is a finely sliced ginger. And sesame seeds. Mix it all together and let it marinate for 15 minutes. If you can wait. Another recipe we're gonna be cooking is a loin of a blackfin tuna. This is marinated with soy sauce and seasoned vinegar. Marinated it for 30 minutes and then dry it then apply the uh, sesame seeds, coat it with sesame seeds, make sure you press it hard, and then once it's uh, fully coated, we're gonna put it in a hot pan and sear it. Make sure you have enough ventilation Otherwise, she's gonna trigger your smoke alarm. Just a warning. In a hot pan, we're gonna sear the loin. You can hear the sizzle. Just triggered my smoke alarm, so I have to turn on the vent and uh, turn to other side. And you can see the dark discoloration of your sesame seeds. So, uh, turn on all sides as much as possible until the sesame seeds are all toasted. 
Now the cooking is done. I have to uh, turn off the stove because it triggered the smoke alarm twice. So just a caution, maybe if you're gonna make this, you're gonna sear this and toast the sesame seeds, you should do it outside. But um, it's uh, beautiful. Seared tuna loin with sesame seeds. Nice, and it smells good. I made a uh, dipping sauce with the um, garlic, soy sauce, seasoned vinegar, black pepper. If you want to make it spicy, you can add some hot sauce or a pepper. And uh, pokey is uh, well marinated. And we're gonna put it on top of a white rice. Thing looks delicious. Fresh blackfin tuna. My first blackfin tuna that I caught. But uh, this is very fresh, so we will try it. My goodness, it's delicious. It's like the tuna we ate in Japan. Awesome. So we're gonna try the steered tuna. The dipping sauce. Mmm. Tastes really good. You should try it. Bye.